Hello again, everybody. Andy Kendi live outside the FedEx Forum in Memphis, Tennessee. Great start, awful finish. Nebraska gets beaten soundly by Texas A&M. You know, the Aggies not known for their shooting, but tonight they were outstanding. They hit nine of their first 15 threes. They led by 14 at the half, built that lead up to 22 in the second half before finally beating Nebraska by the final score of, or by beating them by 15, knocking out the Huskers uh, in the first round of the NCAA turn. You know, they're they a physical team, you know, we're a physical team ourselves, like I said. Um, I feel like we was meant to prepare. I just feel like, you know, we just fell short. I don't feel like anything we worked on the past couple of weeks didn't show on the court. Like, we, we talk about they crashing the glass, we talk about them. You know, Wade Taylor getting hot, stuff like that, but it was just their day to day. I mean, this game came down to just one on one, just taking your matchup personally and winning your matchup. And I don't think any of us won our matchups tonight. It's not just one man, it was all of us out there. And I don't think we any of us won our matchups. It's just a lot of frustration, um, you know, just with myself and um, just how we came out and. Um, Laid an egg tonight. A tough end to a terrific basketball season for Nebraska. 23 wins, the second most in program history, and the foundation has been laid for the future. We've shown that Nebraska can also be a basketball school. We People talk about it being a volleyball school and a, and a football school, but um, I think we've left, um, especially the seniors that are for sure done now, has have left this place, this team in a better place you know this is going to go down as one of my all-time favorite teams that I've ever coached and you know I love each and every one of these guys you know the thing that just stings more than anything is I'm not going to have a chance to coach these two guys again and I won't have a chance to coach this group as a whole again and that hurts that really really hurts so the Huskers finished the season 23 and 11, now 0 and 8 in the NCAA tournament as a school. That losing streak continues for at least another year. The Huskers fall 98-83 to Texas A&M.